Hello, and welcome to Zero Trust Cyber Tips and Tricks. In today's video we will discuss what is attack surface management, why it is important, and how it can be implemented to protect your organization from cyber threats. What is attack surface management? Attack surface management, or ASM, is the process of identifying, analyzing, and mitigating potential vulnerabilities in an organization's network, systems, and applications. This includes identifying all the different ways an attacker could gain access to sensitive data, such as through open ports, unpatched software, or weak passwords. A useful attack surface management follows your entire digital footprint over the internet, discovering and collecting the information that relates to your company. But that could be either too much information or not useful information. That's why instead of sharing this information with your company, it gets analyzed and classified first. After this step, the information is prioritized based on its sensitivity. Finally, monitoring is the last step. In short, attack surface is everything that attackers can and will discover as they research the threat landscape for vulnerable organization. Why is attack surface management important? Attack surface management important is important because it allows organizations to proactively identify and address vulnerabilities before they can be exploited by attackers. By reducing the attack surface, organizations can reduce the risk of a successful cyber attack and protect sensitive data and systems. Managing a growing attack surface is an overwhelming concept for any organization never mind those with tens of thousands of employees, and hundreds and thousands of devices, applications, and programs. This increased risk has put more responsibility on security teams, who are being called upon to oversee and facilitate an evolution in ASM. To effectively increase visibility and prioritize security workloads, Attack Surface Management 2.0 should address the challenges that have come to light since its inception. Managing this dynamic attack interface, organizations must ensure that they have the right security controls to reduce the number of vulnerabilities in the attack surface that attackers can exploit. This can be done by using cybersecurity tools to minimize the places where organizations are vulnerable to cyber attacks. However, it is not impossible to put into perspective the enormous scale of an organization's target area. It simply requires looking at it in a new way. Attack surfaces can be further reduced by proactively mapping the digital footprint, monitoring online channels for attack indicators, quickly diffusing identified threats, and protecting customers, employees, and networks. To keep your organization safe, it is important to understand the way your infrastructure is exposed and vulnerable to attacks, and then prioritize activities that help reduce it. Once you understand what a cyber attack is and what it involves, as well as how extensive your own is, security experts can begin to narrow down the types of attacks your infrastructure is exposed to. ASM combines advanced internet data intelligence and analysis to speed up investigations, understand the attack surface, and take action against digital threats. Continuous security monitoring is a level of attack area management concerning trusted digital assets of third parties. What are the benefits of a modern ASM strategy? Provides continuous visibility across your entire asset infrastructure. In maintaining a continuous view of their entire attack surface, an efficient attack surface management program can record new assets, keep tabs on disappeared assets, and map the complex cyber relationships between them so that organizations always know what it is they're defending. Expedites time to detect and respond to vulnerabilities. Success in threat detection is measured by the time it takes teams to identify, block and remediate tasks. By keeping tabs on state changes as they arise, teams can significantly expedite the mean time to detect, MTTD, and mean time to respond, MTTR, to vulnerabilities all while simultaneously reducing dwell time. Fosters a cybersecurity-first culture. ASM encourages security and risk teams to go beyond the traditional scope of compliance frameworks and audits by putting them in the mind of a threat actor. Reduces the impact and overall risk of a data breach. Not only does a mature ASM program reduce your attack surface to begin with, but it can also save you some serious cash in the event a breach does occur. According to IBM's Cost of a Data Breach 2021, automation and security artificial intelligence offered the most cost savings when fully deployed, saving organizations up to $3.81 million in the event of an incident. Prevents burnout. Increased threat volumes from more data sources likely creates an alert overload. ASM keeps teams focused on the most critical threats so that they don't struggle and feel overwhelmed with a seemingly never-ending list of CVEs. 
keeps teams accountable and in sync. ASM is designed to be a centralized program in which an organization's cybersecurity decisions are made, and responsibility and accountability can be distributed amongst security, risk, DevOps and IT teams. Drives operational efficacy. When combined, the benefits outlined above empower teams to break the cycle of burdensome legacy attack surface monitoring and incident response efforts. At the same time, it enables organizations to maximize the security investments they've already made by bringing them all together. To reap the full benefits of attack surface management, you must ensure it is approached properly. How to implement ASM? There are several steps organizations can take to implement attack surface management, including identifying assets. This includes identifying all the different systems, networks, and applications that an organization uses as well as the sensitive data that is stored on them. To manage the attack surface, it is necessary to first identify all assets open to the Internet. The discovery phase is important because companies have many assets that they do not know or forget, as well as assets they know and manage. For instance, some promotional pages that have been open for marketing purposes may have forgotten to shut down or may not have been notified to the security team. Any assets that are forgotten or not configured for security pose could be harmful to companies. Because attackers always prefer to attack companies over unmanaged assets. Also, some exposed P, personally identifiable information, data and assets used by attackers to imitate the company, such as websites, SM accounts, can be detected in the first step of the attack surface management. Third-party applications or vendors that are connected to the company's assets also appear at the discovery stage, and in this case, it expands your attack surface as it is included in the company ecosystem. The discovery process ranges from simple scanning of provisioned IP addresses and subnets to more comprehensive OSINT, open source intelligence, and dark web browsing. Some security solutions request data inventory from the organization to monitor and manage the attack surface or make some positioning within the company. Conducting a risk assessment. This involves analyzing the potential vulnerabilities of each asset and determining the risk of a successful attack. Conducting a risk assessment is a crucial step in the attack surface management process. It involves analyzing the potential vulnerabilities of each asset and determining the risk of a successful attack. The risk assessment process typically includes the following steps. Identifying potential threats. This includes identifying the types of attacks that could potentially target the organization's assets, such as phishing, malware, or denial of service attacks. Identifying vulnerabilities. This includes identifying any potential vulnerabilities in the organization's systems, networks, and applications. This could include unpatched software, open ports, or weak passwords. Assessing the likelihood of an attack. This involves determining the likelihood of a successful attack based on the identified threats and vulnerabilities. This could include analyzing the organization's current security measures and the attacker's techniques and tools. Assessing the impact of an attack. This involves determining the potential impact of a successful attack on the organization's assets, such as the loss of sensitive data or disruption of business operations. Prioritizing vulnerabilities. Based on the likelihood and impact of an attack, the organization can prioritize which vulnerabilities to address first. Creating a risk management plan. Using the information gathered from the risk assessment, the organization can create a plan to mitigate the identified vulnerabilities and reduce the overall risk of a successful attack. Mitigating vulnerabilities. This includes taking steps to reduce the attack surface by patching software, securing open ports, and implementing strong password policies. Monitoring and response. This involves continuously monitoring the network for potential threats and quickly responding to any incidents that occur. Organizations' assets are constantly being updated in the digital world, and security teams are challenging to keep track of updated assets as their inventory grows. There are also a lot of third-party applications running on assets and hundreds of easily exploitable security vulnerabilities are published every day on these applications. Therefore, it is imperative to ensure 24-7 monitoring of your digital assets for newly discovered vulnerabilities and misconfigurations. In conclusion, attack surface management is an important process for protecting organizations from cyber threats. By identifying, analyzing, and mitigating potential vulnerabilities, 
organizations can reduce the risk of a successful cyber attack and protect sensitive data and systems. Thank you for watching and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel for more cybersecurity tips and tricks.